In this episode, I am going to create an XML schema uh, for describing course curricula. And essentially, uh, each element in the document will uh, contain information about courses. Uh, so, uh, to do this, uh, what I wanted to do was first start off with showing you what kind of information I want to store. So I want to have course information and within the course information I want to store information about the subject, the course number, course title, a short title, uh, and then the name of the university and the campus where it's taught, the instructor, the semester of instruction, and the year of instruction. So an example would be, for instance, the course you're taking now. Uh, here is the subject, CSA, course number is 470-570 course title is Service Energy Architecture and Web Services, the short title is Web Services and SOA, University and Campus, Miami University, Oxford, the instructor is Gerald C. Gennad, and then the semester is spring, and the year is 2008. So what I want to do is create an XML schema that utilizes or, or defines an XML structure for storing this kind of data, uh, and I'm going to write this uh, particular schema using um, using XML um, and using the XML schema uh, format. Okay, so uh, that's where we want to go. I'm going to spend so we'll spend uh, the bulk of this uh, particular lecture defining this schema, uh, and then eventually we'll we'll look at um, examples that actually utilize the schema in creating an XML document. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use Emacs to create my document. I'm creating a document called Curricula.xsd. You could use actually any any editor you want. I just happen to prefer Emacs, so that's what I'm going to use. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is to find a document prologue. So pretty much all XML documents need to have this at the beginning of the file. So I'm going to go ahead and create this prolog. UTF-8. Um, so pretty much any do XML document you create is going to have that first line. Okay, so um, if you recall the lecture on XML documents, Remember that there should only be one root element within any par particular document. An XML schema itself is also an XML document, so it has only one root element. Uh, for XML schemas, the root element is the following. Uh, it's XSD colon schema. Uh, now, this, uh, this particular tag uh, has two pieces. The first piece is the namespace, this XSD, and then the name of the element. Uh, this XSD actually comes from a namespace defined by the uh, W3C, and I'm going to go ahead and include the mapping to that namespace. So it's XML namespace XSD, or colon XSD equals HTTP colon slash slash www.w3.org slash 2001 slash XML schema. So that is the namespace that allows you to resolve and actually find the definition for uh, this particular uh, tag here. Uh, so again, uh, the thing I'm emphasizing here is that an XML schema is an XML document and so it needs to get its structure from somewhere uh, and in this case, the structure for that XML schema uh, and for this document is coming from this namespace here. So all of the uh, all of the information that's necessary to be able to understand what the XML schema looks like and what's allowed to be contained in it is defined by this uh, this particular schema. Okay, so there actually needs to be something that goes before the identification of that schema, we need to create a default schema uh, that will be used by uh, this uh, by this file. 
And so I'm going to define that as HTTP colon slash slash denad ss.csamu.org slash tilde denad g slash csa470 slash curricula. Okay, so what I'm going to do is create this namespace and actually let me call it yeah so so the the file that I'm going that I'm creating right now I'm going to save at this particular URL this uh .csamu.org, tilde ganad g slash csa470 this is the location where I am going to save this schema and I'm going to call it curricula so whenever I want to utilize uh, this particular uh, schema that's the location that I am going to uh, that I'm going to refer to uh, in other XML documents okay so um, the next thing that I need to do is define what the target namespace is and it's basically the same as the default namespace that I just defined okay so that uh, that takes care of this piece here. Okay, and that's this is the uh, this is the root tag for the file. And what I usually like to do is is go ahead and add the closing tag for any uh, open tags that I may have created. Okay, so if you recall when I uh, uh, started this lecture. This is the information that I want to save. I want to have course information and I want to have these tags in it. Uh, and so the way that I'm going to define all of this is by creating an element. So xsd colon element name equals curricula. And this is the uh, definition of the root tag for the document, for the, the documents that will use this schema. And it's going to be called curriculum. Uh, and so I'm going to create that and then have the close tag for this. Now contained within curricula, I'm going to define a complex type. complex type. And so under curricula what I'm going to be allowed to have are any number of course definitions that, I, uh, that uh, are appropriate. So I'm going to define this complex type and then I'm going to define this as a sequence. Actually it should be XSD sequence. Within the sequence, uh, there are there is basically just one type of element that uh, that can be contained within curricula, and that element is going to be a course element. So I'm going to define that here. Element name equals course, and this attribute that I'm adding here, this max occurs equals unbounded means that the, that I can have any number of these course uh, elements within my document. So let's go ahead and close this XSD element. Okay, so, uh, so, so far what I have is my root is curricula tag and then contained within that is any number of course tags that I would like. But right now, uh, uh, if you recall, what we want to be able to do is have within these course tags uh, all of this information, the subject, course number, and so forth. So uh, I'm going to create another um, complex tag underneath this. So let's go ahead and define this complex type slash XSD complex and this is going to be a sequence of tags 
and each of these elements within this sequence are going to correspond to all of those attributes or those elements that uh, I mentioned earlier. So let's close the sequence and then within all of this I'm going to have these different elements. And so let me just do uh, the first part of this. I'm going to cut and paste a bunch of these in here. So I have subject and the type for that subject is XSD string. And actually, let's do this. I'm going to have four of these to start off with. So subject course number, title, and then short title. I'm just going to call that short. Now, uh, there were two other things that are similar to this that I'm going to put in here. They're short, they're semester and year. Uh, but there are two other aspects of this, um, this course information that are going to be a little more complex than this. And they are university and instructor. And let me just start off with uh, the basics for these and then we'll look at uh, what else we need to add to them. So I'm going to put um, uh, university and instructor here. So I'm going to find a type, just like before, called uh, university. But what I'm going to do now is define this as a complex type and allow for subnodes within this tag or subtags within this tag. And for university, uh, what I want to be able to do is support uh, the name of the campus as well as just the name of the university. And so I'll have a tag for university and then a tag for the name and a tag for the campus, actually an attribute for the campus. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the professor. Uh, in addition to saving the name of the professor, I'm going to also save uh, the rank. So let me put that information here. Okay, so in defining university, what I'm going to have here is, um, let me close this off. I'm going to have a complex type. Complex type. And this is uh, actually going to be a fairly simple tag. What, is it, what it's going to have associated with it is a sequence. Uh, let's see. And uh, in addition to that, we're going to have an attribute for this, uh, for this tag. So this attribute is uh, going to be the name of the campus. And this happens to be a type string, so let me just go ahead and cut and paste this here. Okay, so that's the attribute. And then for the con thing contained within the university tag, we're going to have uh, the name. So uh, it's going to be XSD element name equals name. And then the type is the same. Okay, so uh, so this what what this is going to allow me to do is have <coughs> excuse me a university tag, and underneath that will be a name tag that will have the name of the university, and then there is going to be an attribute for the campus of the university, which will be contained uh, as part of the university tag. I'm going to do a similar kind of thing for the instructor, and for this I'm going to go ahead and just cut and paste what I did for university and I'm going to change the names here so instead of university this will be instructor instructor has a name but then as the attribute it will have a rank okay so that pretty much should do it for uh, this XML schema 
Uh, again, we have uh, the root tag is curricula, and then contained within that can be several of these uh, these course tags. Uh, these course tags um, have as subtags to them the subject number, title, short title, the un university name. The university uh, name will have a tag for the actual university, and then an attribute for the campus. Uh, for the instructor, the instructor will have a name as well as the rank as an attribute, and then the final two tags within uh, the course information will be semester and year. So that should do it for this schema. In the next episode, we will look at an example that actually utilizes this schema uh, and uh, will show the structure of the XML document.